Okay. Welcome everyone. Uh, when you hop on, just say hello so I know you're here. Um, I'm just going to try and see if I can get this into the camera. So I'm live. Uh, it's uh, just gone one o'clock, so I'm a little bit late. I'll just put my eyeballs on so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, that's nice and, nice and bright. Okay, so what I've got here, hi Rado, is one of the Aster and Anne kits. It's the Anna Large Tote. Uh, I do have these in stock in my store, and, and uh, yes, I have updated the pricing. Rado, uh, this one is $57. It has everything you need to do the tote, except for decoration. So today I thought I would use some of this, which uh, a lot of people call spider webbing. Um, it's a um, different sort of textured thing. It's uh, something interesting to play with. Also, I have this lovely new fabric that I've just got in um, that you can't buy yet because it's not up on the line. It'll be available next week. Hi, Suzanne. And I'm going to use this and I am also going to fussy cut that out so that I can... <laughs> not that scary price now then. No, no not, not as bad. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, um, so yeah, so you can buy these on, on the website. Not this fabric, of course, but the packaging. And I do have uh, these available. They're in pieces at $1.50 each. Catherine and Jackie, you might be interested in working, so can't watch. Oh, that's sad, Rebecca. You might be able to watch it later. I'll be popping this up on YouTube. So the YouTube channel is Michelle's Patchwork. And go and subscribe and watch as many hours as you can so I can get some support as well. Um, but today we're going to do this. I'm going to try and do it as quickly as I can. So everything comes with it except, like I said, the decoration. I also have my little mini iron and the... Uh, I'll try and just turn that that way. There you go, mini iron with its mat. It's just sitting there ready to go. I also have some Tilda Fix and uh, I'm just, it's just in a roll, so I'm just going to cut off a piece and use it accordingly. I have my little Sizzies as well. Uh, I think they're for whole $4.50, these little fellas. And they also come in a pack I have of five, and you can get five of them for 26, five different uh, type scissors for $26. I think they're on the website as well. So I hope you're enjoying the uh, the Great Australian Craft Show. I think they're doing a great job. It's been uh, a lot of hard work for everyone behind. Bev, it is beautiful fabric and it's not yet um, released on the website. So um, I do do live uh, recordings on, on uh, Facebook for purchasing. So that'll be available probably next week, not this week. But this weekend we're going to do some other boutiques and I have a big sale coming on. This is going to make a lot of noise. You ready? I got rid of the noisy thing. <laughs> All right. Hi, Catherine. How are you going? So in this, we have leather handles. Fantastic. They smell like leather. They're not um, vinyl. They are definitely leather with the nice brassy sort of buckles and everything. So good quality leather accessories. It also comes with this, comes with the pins already there for you. And I'll open it up. There you go. There's your pins, the nice big ones I like to use. It comes with needles for any hand sewing and it also comes with the clips for closing. So we can hand sew or free motion them down, whichever one you choose. Um, I'll probably use the free motion thing today just uh, for quickness because my hand slowing, uh, sewing is not fantastic. Again, apologise for my fingers. I've been gardening. The weather's been beautiful. All right, so I'll pop them all aside. The finished size of this is going to be 39 centimetres by 35 centimetres by 15. So that's 15 and a half inches by 13 inches by 6. <laughs> Rado, yeah, it's going to be a big sale weekend. So I'm going to take that baby off and put it to the side. And when you open this up, you're going to get your instructions. And they have kept them very basic. It is literally one sheet. It tells you what's in 
the actual um, bag and it tells you how to make it with some really easy pictures and you'll find that you'll be able to put these together really really quickly they do have some demos on um, YouTube but this will also be on YouTube oops, sorry um, that you'll be able to look at later so nice and simple so I'm going to follow these now I'm giving you a heads up I haven't actually done one of these in this this style yet so this is going to be as new to me as it is to you I have made a couple of other bags but each one of course is going to be a little bit different so let's get started now the first thing it tells me to do is fold the bag piece in half and mark the position of the magnetic closure on inside of bag piece hand or machine stitch in place so that's the first thing i'm going to do so i'll pop my destructions over there move my iron out of the way and that there is the sides so i'll pop them over here this here looking at the picture tells me that it is the bag and the beauty of this the zipper is already done and sewn on look at that so it's like the little pockets already there you could always add more on if you want to I'm going to turn it around to face the same way that the picture is facing, just like that. Okay, that picture there. So I've turned it around, move my iron a little bit further out. This is uh, wool felt. It's fantastic. It's sturdy. The edges are all scored so that it's not going to fray if you need to wash it at any point. Say you, you know, your kids knock it over or grandkids knock it over and put it in the mud at a barbie or something. So I've got it sitting in place, and like I say, I'm just getting my little bits and pieces organised. And I've just lost my little clips. Hang on, where do I put them? I've probably buried them under there. They <laughs> there they are, I knew I'd bury them. All right, so first things first, we're going to find the centre. And... Nice of Aster and Anne to be able to give us some pins that we can actually mark the center with a pin. So let's pop that in there. One on this side and we'll do the same on this side. Now I am working with the camera in front of me so if I do get in the way I apologize. Um, if there's any questions you've got. Um, yeah it's stiff. Yeah it is. It's quite quite stiff um, but it's still got that soft feel that wool and it has it it doesn't feel like the acrylic stuff it feels it feels really nice it's nice it's soft feels soft but it's um it stands up quite well on its own all right so i've done that half point now i'm also going to go this way on the long edge and find the halfway point here the beauty is this, of this is the holes are already done so they, i don't even have to do these they're already there grab my halfway point here there flip it this way pop that down grab that there and uh, you might hear dot in the background oh hello tanya how are you going glad, I hope, glad you can join us today you might hear Dot in the background, everyone. Just uh, She's just doing some work for me. Um, today is her work day. That pin moved. I'll just pop that in again. There we go. Already. I was surprised it is firm but soft. It holds itself up but folds easily. Yes, it does, Rado. Yeah. Oh, so you've had a play with the ones you've purchased. Um, yeah. So it's quite easy to work with and sew through. It's really, really nice fabric. So the first thing it wants us to do, wants us, wants us to do, is actually place these little um, clips, magnetic closures, up either end. So one needs to be here, and one up the other end. Um, I'm going to place this one here, and I'm just going to put a pin in it. And even though it's leather, it will still go through because it's got those little holes. All right, so. I'll just move it over a little bit so it's more centered like that I'm just going to double check the center make sure I've got it reasonably centered that's pretty good flip over to the other side 
Oh, good. Yes. Well, wait till you see the fabric I've got here. My godfather. Oh, there's some amazing stuff coming. I forgot that I'd order it. It's one of those. <laughs> and there's the other one pinned in place. You could use clips if you want to. You've got those little, little clips. You can clip them in place, but the pin works fine for me. So I'm going to take this over to the machine. So bear with me while I move this camera straight over. Move some stuff out of the way. Here we are, back over at the machine. I just got to make sure I tape it down so I don't look. Doesn't drop off on me. There we go. Taped in place. Might need some more tape. Thanks, Dotty. Oops, nearly lost it because I'm going to be moving it back and forwards too. It's gonna, I'll probably maybe leave that there and I'll, I'll pop, um, leave the tape runner there. Yeah, ah. so we're just gonna literally tape it to the table so I don't lose it. I can luminaire paint, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. And I even thought, um, ink tense pencils or anything like that. I'm just hoping this baby stays. There we go. Push that down. Okay. Uh, yeah, wait until you see the range of that fabric. It is stunning. All right, so I'm just going to move my iron all the way over here just so I don't put the felt onto it. And I'm going to, I've got my free motion thingy me jig on. Foot is what I'm trying to say. And I just need to find my little scissors. I'm just going to thread this. Um, I have to eyeball it because um, I've got something going on with my, uh, not the cutter, the um, needle threader I need to fix. So again, I am going to put my gloves on only because it's easier for me to hold things and anything that can help reduce any tension on my arms or hands, I am happy to use. So I've got my little gloves on and I'll just see if I can get it to zoom in a bit. There we go. So I have got an open toe foot. I am going to, once a day, you lift up and put it down, pop that there and needle down. Okay, and very, very quietly and gently, slowly, I'm just going to, actually I might just lift that foot up a bit, it feels a bit tight on that leather, yeah, it's better, and I'm going to just jump into those holes a little bit if I can, and I'm going to go this way, actually no, I'm going to bring it over this way. Now, I have an issue with this foot, so I'm going to put needle up and foot up. There we go. And foot down. I wonder if that'll be happy enough to sew like that. No. And I might do a quick cut off and come around the other way. Just don't want to stitch that down. I don't want to break anything. There we go. I think I started about here. Needle down. Oops, the days. There we go. Into the hole. A couple of stitches won't hurt it. Just a couple of stitches and a bit of a jump. Okay, go this way. As long as it's on. If you want to, you can blanket stitch it. You could. I've done that as well. It looks just as nice. But for the demo, just to keep things nice and um, flowing, I'm going to, uh, I've just stitched that one on there. And I'll turn it around. And put that thread up there, put down. Nice and slow. As you can see, I'm not going 100 mile. back a 
copy it this way. And just come over here and remove that pin. Do you change your needle for a different one? I haven't. Um, Rada, I've just used the same needle. I know it's naughty. Um, I've had... These are such great needles. I mean, they're probably getting very blunt now, especially after this project. And I might have to change it before I do the next one, otherwise it's going to make lots and lots of noise again. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's probably quite dull now. Hi, Jody. Hey, going? We're just sewing on these little clasps, little magnetic ones, all the way around. A couple of jumping stitches and nice and easy back and forward you can do a knot off if you want to two three four cut off and then we're going to go back to the next section so i'll just grab that and see if i need to um now i need to now embellish so the first thing i need to do is um organize what i'm going to embellish with and how i'm going to do it and i have to flip this over so let me move you over to here again i'm going to have just to have to get that uh, camera organized bear with me a second just gonna move you over here just loosen that off. Sorry about the wobbles. I'm going to make you all drunk. There we go. Move you over here. Place that there. This table gets used for painting and all sorts of things. <laughs> so bear with me. Just get that camera nice and steady. That's better. Okay. So flipping it over. This here is the stitch line there that's going to be um, either front or back i haven't really looked at that yet so i'll find out soon they're the little threads from the sewing i just did i'm going to trim them off um, just to keep it a little bit neater it won't come undone all right same on this end Looks great so far, doesn't it, Jody? It's going to be um, a nice, easy project. You can get it finished in a, oh, half an hour or so, as long as you're not fiddling around like I do. All right, next step. We're going to decorate. So we're going to flip it over. If this is my front, right, which I would think I would have this to the back, um, so where this is so I don't want really that on the front of the the panel I wouldn't have thought so so I'm thinking it can go to the back um, marks into the base I'm just reading it all right so I think that'll be my front so let's flip her over and that's that yeah I think that's the way I want it to go I'd rather the zipper mark to be at the back but you can decorate front and back to cover that. You would just have to be very careful with how you stitch down your applique. Now, because I'm using my applique mat for something else, I thought that um, I would just use my wool, wool felt <laughs> uh, piece as my ironing mat. <laughs> so that just saves me having to get something else out of the cupboard. Now, this fabric is very lovely. I'm just going to roughly cut out one. These aren't fabric scissors either, by the way. They're just um, any old scissors. Um, oh, that feels really nice, that fabric, doesn't it, Dot? It's lovely. Mm. Mm. It's got a lovely feel to it. Okay, so, yeah, it does have a bit of a, a linen. Maybe, yeah, it would make a nice shirt, yeah. So I've got that there. Um, obviously, it's not going to stay like that. I'm going to actually fussy it about a bit. So to do that, also, I need to have some um, tilde fix on the back of it. It's not quite wide enough. So I'm just going to trim it in half. Now, there is a right side and a wrong side. So the wrong side, you can see it's got more little gritty holes in it. A lot of batiks don't really have that. Um, and uh, that's that's uh, the right side. Sorry, someone just sent me a message. Now, I don't want to get any of this gluey stuff on my 
front. So I'm going to grab my iron and just glue that centre bit down without going anywhere else. Okay, just give it a nice iron. Just bring my mat over. And I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to just quickly cut around there. Because I don't have an ironing mat in front of me, this is what I sort of have to do to um, avoid getting the glue on my fabric. So if you're ever in that position where you, you don't want to get glue on your fabric, you need to make sure that the glue is underneath and um, not overlapping, coming over. You don't want it sitting out like that, you know. So that's how you get glue on it. So now I can flip it back over. I've got a horrible suspicion dot. Mm -hmm. Just um, I saw that dot just just about fell out the door. <laughs> All right, so that there, and I love those ironing mats. I know I've I've um going to order some more. No kids, no. Okay. All right, so then I just need to iron this bit. And again, I don't want the paper overlapping. I mean, if it does, it's no big deal. I'm just going to lay it there and put my the tip of my iron just there like that, just to grab that little bit. Yep. And uh, turn it over and clip the excess away. This is Tilda Fix Light. I do stock this. It's nine dollars a meter. It's about half a meter wide, so it's not um, not overly expensive, and it's not too wide that you can't handle it. <laughs> so, and I do like it. You can fold it. Oh, the um, the uh, Tilda Fix doesn't uh, sort of come off when you fold the uh, actual Tilda Fix, unlike some of the brands. So I have a little bit sitting there and I'll pop that just there to cover that little bit. Now I might turn it around, put the long edge there. That's better, Michelle. Pop that there and give that a little bit of a trim. Take that point off, tuck that under. Don't want that glue on my iron if I can, if I can avoid it. Just pop it there, just to grab it, turn it back over and trim off the excess. I'm going to use these little fellas now. Alrighty, so then I can swip it back over and I've got it all ironed out. Pop it down there and then we need to cut it out. Now you can paint these. I'm going to leave a little bit of a black edge on them because I like that. That's where I'm pretty much going to stitch. So I'm just using my little thread snips to go around it. You can use any scissors you like. Um, these work just fine. And you know, like I say, $4.50, if you blunt them out, it's not going to send you broke. All right, I'm trying to get it so that you can see what I'm doing as well. Colleen, this bag kit is 57. It's got everything you need to make it except for your decoration. I think we have so much fabric in our stash and we buy all the time um, that we don't need to have them give us our decorations. Plus, everyone's got their own taste. So this one here has the leather straps and handles. It's all wool felt, no cheap, nasty stuff. It has the clips. As well, the zippers are already the zipper is already done, and it also has the um, holes to clip on your strap already cut into and uh, in the uh, the fabric, so that you don't have to try and work that out. Um, so they've made it really really easy. These these kits are amazing, really. The more I play with them, the better. I'm getting at them and the uh, easier they're getting. Took 
<clears throat> excuse me, it took me a few minutes to work out the first one just because I'm not used to the way they write their patterns. So everyone writes them a little bit differently. So you can cover the whole bag with um, fabric if you want to. Um, there's no reason why not. You can, if you don't like grey, you can um, just do the front of it or you can do, give it a lining if you wanted to, you know. But um, this wool felt is really quite um, durable. Uh, it's not going to um, damage easily. And if you do mark it or you do tear it or something like that, it's the sort of product that you could... <laughs> okay, Michelle, no worries. And it's a sort of product that if you did need to mend it, you can. Unlike some of the leathers and that, it, it and um, you can't actually repair them without having a leather. It just doesn't look right. So you can make this look right without having it look silly. Do you know what I mean? Now, I've got that all cut out. Uh, Michelle Armstrong... Um, Wool felt flowers. Absolutely, Colleen. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, as long as it can take the heat of an iron, yeah. Michelle Armstrong would like a, a um, an Ann bag, Aster and Ann large tote bag, please, Dotty. Um, her stuff is somewhere here, but, um, yeah, just grab one out of the drawer. So this is the other product I have. This is the spider web stuff. So the longest part of this is going to be the decorating. Once you've done the decorating, putting it together is easy. Now, I could do all sorts of things with this, couldn't I? So many things I can do. So looking at it, I've just got to look at it and go, how am I going to decorate it? Where is this going to go? Is it going to be going across ways? And just getting the bag into the position it needs to be so let me just follow it uh, Colleen Lower would like one also so just grab another one out and we'll pop names on them so this is going to be the, the way the bag's going to sit like the front of it's going to be this side and the back is going to be where the zipper pocket is and I know that the base of it, by looking at the actual sides, the base is going to be starting around about here. So you know those centre needle pins I had? That's going to move. That's where my base is going to start. <clears throat> and I'm going to do the same to the other side. So I'm just going to fold that up and move my pin just so I know where I'm decorating to. Now, if you're going to decorate on the other side, um, or if you wanted to put something like a leather on the bottom, you just need to mark where you're going to go. And because uh, you can just top in, top stitch it, or you can uh, needle turn it if you so wish, desire, you know, whatever your desires wish, um, whatever you like. Now, this mesh, this is, I think, I'm not too sure whether it's a black or a green, but because I think I've sold out of all my black. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm thinking, and I'm going to want to decorate this up to the top here, underneath where those circles are. But I can always put this up higher, up like that, so it covers that little thing. Or I can sit that up there like that. And just glue it down and then have another piece of the red coming across so let's do some random cutting because I love random cutting as you know oh, got caught on my ring um, so I'm just going to cut some of this and it drops everywhere <laughs> when you cut it and we can pop that over there we can also, little squares of it maybe, that might be the way to go. So we're going to do some littler squares, maybe a long couple of long ones. Alrighty, now I might just cut some squares of those. Alright, and I'll just give it a shake because it's got little fluffy bits everywhere. There we go. Now, now it's a matter of placement. So with these, um, they need to be stitched on, okay? So just remember that. And where you put them, you've got to remember you've got a, a clip under there. 
So whatever you do, you need to make sure that you can get around that with your free motion foot, okay? Or you could use, um, uh, if you're going to stitch with a straight stitch foot, you know, like a just a normal machine foot, you could stick your zipper foot on and, um, and use that also, and you could actually get that to cover that. Um, I'm thinking maybe something like that and maybe another random one down here. My precision, oh, <laughs> or the lack thereof, Sue, hey, isn't it? <laughs> and I'm thinking we'll just pop some of these here. And I don't mind that it's a little bit hairy. <laughs> and a nice square one here. So we're going to have that effect. And I'm really loving the fact that I can have that underneath that baby there. And I'm also thinking, because I have another little piece of it, whether I have one coming from the side, you know, or whether I grab another one, something that might be a little bit bigger. So... And like I say, this is your longest part. This is the part you're going to be sitting there playing and fluffing around with, the longest. So if I grab, say, that one, that could sit there coming off the side. And we could have that going over the top. And I think that looks really amazeball. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Grab that little bit of this stuff, this stuff. And I'm thinking I'll grab the side panels of the bag. I can use that as my iron. Put that down there. And I'll just trim away some of these excess ones. Oops. I'm going to come in a little bit closer. And I don't need to have that all glued down. So I just need to have enough of the uh, the glue on it to cover the areas that I'm going to use. And the rest will just stick down when I sew it. So I can utilise some of this, maybe like that. scissors but anyway okay so get some of that out give it a quick iron all over love my little iron if you haven't got one of these you so need to invest all right so um, let's just quickly cut around this half one it's got enough glue on it to hold it down or for a month A month's worth of glue on this stuff, I reckon. A month of Sundays is what they say. So I'm going to post up some photos of some of the fabrics that I'm going to be selling uh, over the weekend. If you've got any questions, please, please, please feel free to ask. I'm happy to answer. Hey, don't play your ass, do you? Come on, little scissors. Just so those who, who know me and know I've been in and out of hospital um, blah, the other week, a couple of weeks ago, everything's going fine. I had a little bit of um, an issue with a small infection, uh, but that has come good. And no fault of my own, by the way. <laughs> All right, so I'll pop those back over there and I'm going to put that there. Now, you might wonder, how the heck am I going to get this stuff to sit down? Well, <laughs> let me tell you. There are a couple of ways. I'm just going to take that out of there that you can get that to happen. You can glue them down or you can sew them down. Now, I have an open toe foot and I have closed toes, toe foot 
feet, I should say. So if I'm going to sew these down, that needs to be a closed toe. All right, just so you know, because if I have an open toe, it's just going to grab and catch everything. So I can sew them or I can glue them and sew them as well. So I can do one or the other. These are going to overlap. You know, they're going to come over the top and underneath. Um, they're going to have, you know, that'll come over like that maybe. That might come under. I'll figure it out as I go. Like I say, nothing is, uh, like Sue says, actually nothing is precision for me. <laughs> so first thing first, I need to get the first one on. So just looking at that, I know it needs to be there. I'll grab a pin. Actually, I just took that out of the side there. That was a bit silly of me. I need that. Yeah. What about that flower under the back? Yes, I think the flower can go underneath all of um, these others. So if I put it underneath, I'll leave it above this one, but put it underneath the next one. I'm going to bring it out from the side too so that I, I can fit it on. So it can come around like that. All right. So first things first, I want to get this one on. So work from the bottom and up. Um, and uh, to do that, I'm going to grab the pins that I were given in the kit. Just a couple of those. And I'm just going to randomly pin that down. And it's quite stiff because it's the wool felt. So just a couple of them in. I could also, if you wanted to, you could have it wrapping around. Your flowers can wrap around to the side or whatever you like. Um, that'll take a little bit more fiddling. But um, for this one, I think what I'm doing is going to make this look fine. There we go. And I reckon Dottie's going to want one. <laughs> All right. So that one's just pinned down there. I'm While you're just staring at that for a second I'm just going to swap my foot over because I want the round closed toe foot um, it does bounce um, oh, but that's okay I've just got to find it I, know, I, can, I can use this one Sorry. Dottie did some cleaning and now I can't find any. <laughs> That's all right, I've found. We'll just use this one. I'm just blaming Dottie because I can. <laughs> broad shoulders. Broad shoulders. You'd have to with me, I tell you. <laughs> yeah, broad shoulders. You're going to go away right crying. <laughs> Not going to happen. You won't let me break you. <laughs> Not today. All right, so let's move this back over. All right, and we'll go back over here to the camera. Oops, a daisy. Sorry about that, ladies. There we go. Back over to here. And get the camera ready. No, you're right, you're right, you're right. It's okay. And then I just got to tape it down again. Hopefully, the tape will hold. Be nice to me. I need like a hockey strap, don't I? <laughs> all right, so I'm going to try and do this all at the same sort of time. So remembering that my pin, sorry, I'm just tapping that so it goes in. My pin is there. So you've got to, and my pin, my clasp is there. So I don't want to go over that metal bit in the center, but I can come around the side. Now I'm using a black thread so it blends in. All right. So foot down, and remember this is a bouncing one, so see how it just hops, a hopping foot? So I'm just going to move it over there and there, just to catch it. And I've still got it going fairly slow, because um, I don't really and truly want it to go 100 mile an hour, and then I lose my spot. Now I'm doing a wavy stitch. And nice to that I'm just going back and forth so I sort of match in with all the ziggy zaggy lines I'm going to come down here a little just to make it look like it's meant to be
Look at those dust bunnies. What dust bunnies wear? Where are the dust bunnies? <laughs> Did I have dust bunnies? I can't. Oh, these under here. Oh, yes, because that has been sitting in the container for ages. I see them. Oh, yeah, look at all those dust bunnies under there. All right. I'll have to get into that now. You've, you've mentioned the war. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, so on the shaft of the needle, yeah, I just um, seen it all. All right, and I'll come back over here. Bang, bang, bang. And it, like I say, it doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to be down. And I'm going in the thicker part here. Stitching over, making it look like it's meant to be there. If you wanted to, you could hand sew this down, if so desire. Me, personally, I don't have time for a lot of hand stitching these days. <laughs> Yours was the same, was it? <laughs> I'm just going to cut off there because I need to reposition. Any of these long bits like this, just trim them off. They're only going to get in your way. All right, so you see if I have the foot, I haven't stitched that down, so I really need to come straight across here. Might um, just come, I might even cut them out. I'll see how I go with them. There we go. Just stitch them down a little because they're annoying. I'll take that pin out. Don't forget to go across the center. Okay, I'm going to just speed her up a little. Oops, a daisy. Wrong button. There we go. Again, watching that you don't have... You've got to watch that they don't get caught. Okay. So now I've found my little mojo with doing this. I'm just sewing a few random ones around the center just to hold it down. You can use the tilde fix and glue it down first. Make sure you use an applique mat to take up the excess glue so that you don't have shiny glue sticking out from underneath it that out of the way. Pin and it's got a nice edge this one. Sometimes you get lucky. So I can just stitch up there and I can see that little, get a little bit closer just to get that edge. There's my little metal clasp. Come down here now this is where if you're doing something like this you might want to put a lining in it personally I wouldn't care less um, but some people like that and that's fine it's just more fluffing around that's all I've got to get that out I can't pass it there we go. all right so let's do this one down here so if I had and you can imagine if I had an open toe foot how it would um, grab all those little things and get caught and uh, become a real nuisance. So you can see there's this uh, like wavy sort of ones. So you can mim mimic that and just stitch over it and get to the edge there. Anything you see that's sticking up and you want it down, just go and stitch over it. Don't sort of panic that you have to have it beautifully neat and all your stitches completely even. It's to no one, not one soul is going to see that. And that cut off. So that's the, the black one on. You can see it's got little hairy bits, but I'm not worrying about that until the end. Now... I can't remember where I had them and I didn't take a photo. So I'm going to pop that red one there. And this is getting thicker now. I'm still using black thread. I haven't changed to red. And there's a reason for that. If I put red thread, you're going to see it big time. The black thread will just blend in with everything else. 
You can do a zigzag across it if you want. Oh, I've got to get caught there. I'll just stop and cut that off. I have learned so much of you, Michelle, being locked down. Oh, good, good. I'm glad I do some good. <laughs> Sometimes I feel I just yap on for no reason. All right, just move it around. You can see it's a little bit fluffy in that there. I'll just make it zoom in. There we go. That's better. All right, you can see it's quite high, so really push that down. If you've got a little stiletto, you don't want to get your fingers in there, do that. Or your little uh, purple thing. All right. So if I stitch out and around here, if I had red thread, you are you're really going to see that. But just because I've got the black thread on, it doesn't really show any more than what I've already done. You can see I grabbed that one, so I'm going to trim it and keep moving. No freaking out, it's not necessary. <laughs> you can see there's another one, got caught. And I didn't go right up to the edge on that, that little bit there because if I go right over here, it's going to be in my seam. I just think I thought I got one caught again. Yeah, I did. There it is. And I'm just going to stitch that little one down. Just a couple of grabs. And I haven't... I've just gone back and forward so to, to try and grab it. I haven't gone exactly... See, I've just catched, catched it, caught it. All right, so... Now, push that down, keep your fingers out of the way. If you don't have a stiletto, you can use your little pointy scissors and push them down like that and move it with one hand. Okay, push them down. So, I'll just go over this side now, push those down. So, these sort of strawy like type of things that florists use to wrap your flowers in that your lovely husband's going to buy you at Valentine's Day. These are the things you can use in your quilts, your bags, give that really nice awesome texture. Oops, a daisy, you've got a bulb growing up there. Um, and you can really, really create some fantastic looks with it. Um, and it's very inexpensive. I mean, this stuff is like you know, a dollar fifty a piece. It's it, and it's you know like a fat eighth. It's it's not um, expensive and the, and it goes a long way. All right, I think I've stitched that to death. So we'll take that off there and we'll get the next one. Just give it a shake, get some of the excess off, and just cleaning up a little bit around me. And um, I'm going to place my next one on. Right. Covered. Try that. And I am just going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that one there. But what I'm going to do is, sorry, just get my fingers in the way. I'm just going to grab the end of that, just like that. Then I'm going to... Grab this baby, grab a pin, I'm going to score the back of it just like that, then I'm going to peel that paper off, see, I'll just do that off camera because I don't have a lot of room in front of me, and the glue is there, see the glue, it's all shiny, then I'm going to place this under here away from the edge I mean I can put it right on the edge if I want to no dramas pop that there like that and it's overlapping the picture you can see how it overlaps here but I've got glue under here which is fabulous and being wool I can get my little iron and just do that right at my machine how cool am I <laughs> And then once I've stitched that down a little bit, I've still missed over here and it's only just holding, I can then come back and stitch in that if I want to. Um, I think it's got enough in it. I don't really need to stitch a lot in it. 
Um, but if you feel like you really want to, go for it. You want to colour it. There's so many different types of way of colouring. Um, I'll just put that there. You can use paints like the Lumieres. You can use ink dyes. You can use um, intense pencils. Um, just normal acrylic paints. You're not going to wash it. You know, it's a handbag. You, you know, it's and if you did, you'd probably just spot wash it anyway. Oops, today has got it all caught. Um, so you know, it's not like it's going to need to go through a full wash load. Sorry, I've got really caught over there. There we go. So you can hear it now hitting the paper, oh, the fabric. Sorry. So it's a bit thicker. So it'll make that nasty noise. And if you paint it, it's going to make an even nastier noise. <laughs> All right, one thing you do want to do when you're doing this is just make sure in those black areas of that fabric that you stitch down all around the edge of that fabric and anywhere that you think it might lift. So the more you stitch on it, the better it's going to hold. Okay, so I'm just going around some of these little round bits the Waratah just around the edge as well just to grab it all and at the same time I'm grabbing the red stuff the spider webbing and I'm back over this side now and down here and down here right on the edge make sure you grab that edge okay so even though you'll be able to see that you really need to grab that edge um, otherwise it will lift you'll probably cover it next time you sew when you sew these together so don't stress over it too much but just make sure it's actually stitched down I think that I've got a box right in front of me and it's getting um, it's making um, causing a bit of a resistance needs to be moved back here. Yeah, thanks Dot. The lovely Dot Delveen Delaney. <laughs> so, Alright, come back around the edge here. I'm just, I'm literally just following some lines. I'm not doing anything special. And come back over to the red stuff because I really want to get that mesh all stitched down over here. Whoops, a daisy. You made a funny noise. Yes, same. Michelle is easy to stalk. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Rado. <laughs> Don't give other people the dog idea. <laughs> oh, I'm joking. You're a nice kind of stalker, Rado. A bit of a laugh. I have had the other kind. It's not much pleasant, uh, not not much pleasantness in that. I can tell you, female too. All right, trim that off. That's another story for another day. Hey, all right. I'm 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 happy with leaving some of it looking a bit shaggy looking. I'll give it a bit of a shake. Oh, it looks really cool so far. Oh, so this is all sort of stitched down now. It, um, it doesn't have to be quilted. There's no rule of thumb with that. It just needs to be stitched down. All right, the next thing I want to do is get the next one. And I'm thinking I need to probably put it on that angle. Then they're coming towards each other a little. And again, this is just a placement guess um, because... I sort of can't remember how I put them before. <laughs> so I'm thinking I've got the black stuff there. Um, at least I throw money at you when I stalk you. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> Those kind of stalkers I can handle. Although, you know, when I first started, I mean, I never did any of these sale thing. This has only sort of happened in the last 12 months and had nothing to do with COVID. I just... I just realised I could actually get fabric from barley um, and get them really cheap and be able to pass on the bargain. And, and then it just blew out of 
out of control and of course yeah and everyone asks me can I get them staff and can I do this and yep went mental <laughs> so I'm just sewing down that end that corner bit there it's just um it's not the the flowers going over the top it's just a, I don't want it to jump around and you can see my stitching and I'm going to show you the back of this to show you how um how ordinary my stitching is and uh, how much you don't have to be a perfectionist with this. All right, so let me just stitch that down so I can get that sorted. Now, I'm going to glue this one down. I need to take the paper off, so I'll do that again by scoring it with a pin. Sorry, the pin keeps moving. So again, Get this, score it with a pin, peel that back and take it off. That's the easiest way to get that paper off and especially with fabrics that aren't batik because they fray. I can't remember. Oh yeah, I do remember who showed me that. That was Faye Winther showed me that many, many years ago. Alrighty, so I'm thinking that might be there. I don't want it centered because I'm thinking centering will just throw the whole thing off, make it look too neat because <laughs> I don't do neat. Um, and I'm going to foot down, needle down, and I'm going to just grab the iron and just where I can grab here, just heat it up. And because it's a wool base, it'll just sort of grab on and because I don't want it see how it's doing that jumping thing I need to move it around just so I can move my foot around I'm just going to get back over this side and that part that I've already glued I'm just going to stitch around so if you want this to take 15 minutes to make this bag, don't decorate it as much as I am. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, so turning it around so you can see. Sorry, I've got a bit of a, a build up here in front of me. I'm just going to try and roll it so it's out of the way. A bit hard to roll it. I'm going to grab my iron and I'm going to come here. I'm just going to place the iron on it just to... A bit of a stability thing, and I'm gonna come around. Alrighty. So once I've got it sort of stitched down, basically, I'm gonna take it out from underneath this. I'm gonna give it another iron, and then I'll bring it back to the machine and finish the stitching. So I'm literally just sewing down the main bulk of it, um, not doing any of the little bits I did before so you can just go here you can just go around the edge if you want to and so the glue sorry ladies um I've got my the wool felt in the way a bit hard for you to see isn't it all right, let me cut that off. I'll um, go and just give it a good press here, just next to me. You can't quite see me because I'm always have to move the camera again. Um, don't be frightened to put a bit of heat on that stuff. It's not going to hurt it. That mesh stuff really won't hurt it. I'm trying to get the glue to go through those three layers because um, I really want that mesh to the glue to go through it. Um, all right, so I'm going to try and stitch some of this down now. Some of this black stuff, whatever colour it is. It looks almost blacky, greeny, blacky colour, but this is the last piece I've got of it, so don't ask me for any. <laughs> don't have it. And I've got no idea on where on earth I would get it from again to be able to restock it. I do have other colours, all the other colours. I've got rolls of it, but just not the black. Alright, so I'm 
just going to stop that. The camera looks like it's a little bit low. I'm going to try and sit it up a bit. There we go. Get that to stick down. Stay right where you are, camera. No falling. There we go. Try and keep that up. All right, there we go. That's a bit better for you. Okay. Now, if I put too much of this stuff on, you can cut it away. I mean, it, it's no big deal. Um, it can be messy, though, if you do. So it's best to sort of have it where you want it, um, rather than cutting it out. But if you do have to cut it out, like I say, it is no big, big deal. All right. So I'm going to just cut off here because I need to come from the other direction so I don't block off your view again. Across here. You see how it's got little red bits there? Oh, I like that. <laughs> I think that looks cool. A little bit sticking out there. They probably break off over time, but you know, I like it. So now I'm making sure that I've gone around all the edges. You can go around as many times as you like. Oh, come on. And um, like I said, I'm just using a black thread. It's just a resant at the moment, actually. It's quite durable for this sort of stuff. Um, I haven't tried a different kind on it because it's got to go through so many things. Um, the needle I'm using is a 90, which is a 14, and it's a titanium-based one, so it's just a... Um, Oh, well, they call it a um, superior needle. That's the brand name, superior. All right, so just going to come up and do some of this around here, just to catch that. Nothing exciting. Just some random stitching. And oops, it goes. I hear that chunky noise. This one, these ones need to be sewn down. So I'm going to go here and do those. And like I say, you can go over them as many times as you like. You can, you know, being this kind of fabric, it's not going to make too much of a diff. If you've got light fabric, you might want to sort of think about where you're going to stitch a little bit more. It's making lots of chunky noises now that's going through so much. There we go. Yeah, I like the red on it too. I wasn't too sure about it and I, I really like that red on it. So I'm going to put another bit of red in a minute. Um, this is just going around the, the base of it. This will actually fold over underneath. So I'm just going to stitch it down. It'll go on the base of the bag. Just cut that off. Trim off my little hairy bit I had there. There's another one here. Not that it'll make a difference. You could leave them on. You can't see it with all that stuff. Then um, I like things in odd numbers. So I am going to get a bit of a haircut. Um, I think I've done all those. So I'm going to place a third red one and I'm going to literally put it across there in a random position. Nothing too organized. Maybe even like that. There will do. And I've just got to make sure it all fits underneath that foot. And again, it's going through quite a few layers, ladies. I'll just get that camera to zoom in. Yep, there you go. And I'm going backwards and forwards, zigzaggy type effect over those um, edges and random threads just to catch them. Doesn't matter really what direction you go in, as long as you grab them. Oh, a bit of grumpiness going on underneath. Alright. So. 
let it grab. Oh. Mm, I think it's going alright. It's just getting cranky at me. So once I've got this decorated, like I say, it is the longest part. Then it's just a matter of putting it together. So I'm just looking at the time and I've got another demo at three. So I really need to pull my finger out. There we go. Get this on. Let's just stitch that down. Like that. Just go over the center of it a little. Hey, maybe grab and thread. There we go. Maybe a bit up here. Maybe it needs a bit up there. Alright, it's going to get caught now. It already has. Alright. That one right there. There we go. Alrighty, so I'm going to move the camera again. Hope to God it doesn't fall off the bench. Here we go. Sorry, my bad. All right, let's give you a bit of a, a look at it. Make sure I've got the camera right. So that's going to be, I might actually just hold it up for a second, so bear with me. There it is there. So that's what the front of it will look like. All right, that. I like that. Now, now we have to, I'll move this back over to the uh, to the machine because the next step is sewing. So oh, get that sorted. Sorry about that, ladies. Make it easy. All right, I think I've got that right. The instructions now say that I need to find the center. So if I put that here, Instructions say I need to find the center of the sides, so I need to mark the side of the gusset, the gussets, and mark the center of them. And to do that, I'm folding it in half, just like that. See, fold it in half, put a pin in the halfway mark. I'll do the same to the other one. And find the center of the bag again. So I took my pins out before because I wanted to know where the, um, the base of the bag started. So I'm just moving them back to the center of the bag, the bottom. And then I'm going to sew them on. Now, I'm going to need to swap this over and so with a normal foot or I'm going to use a walking foot because it's so thick so my advice is to you to use a walking foot it does work better and um, less cranky machine less of a cranky machine I'm going to need to take that right out this one's a bit, a bit fiddly there we go almost there come on yep. that, that's it I mean, you can you can glue those Bing little um, diamondy things or anything you like. So all I've done is pin those two points together, so the centre of the gusset to the centre of the bag, all right, right, it, it's on the right side, um, it needs to be on the other side, my bad, so it needs to be on the wrong side, so I'll just move over, so you're pinching them together like that so that is the gusset and this is the inside of the bag okay so that you can see the stitching from the sewing I just did all wonky and wobbly then you grab the top of that 
and you want to pin it to the top. All right, so you want to line up your circles like that and just sort of pin it up to the top, up there, just like that. Pin that top bit. You can get your pin through. There we go. All right, and then work it that, that side into it. Um, I'm just going to just grab some pins and pin it down while... You guys are sitting there waiting for me to sew. Can't do this on camera because I have no room in front of the camera. <laughs> so bear with me. Uh, oh, stuck to me. Okay, so what else are you guys going to be doing today? Are you going to be doing any other classes and stuff? To tell me what you're making and everything, what you're learning. <laughs> you're making lots of noise, Dot. Um, no, I can't get it by the roll. I've not actually seen it myself, my personally from my wholesalers. I've, um, I haven't been, you know, I haven't been asked before, so um, um, I'd probably have to buy it by massive amounts of yards or meterage, um, which might not be financially effective for me. Um, but uh, if you're really, really interested in it, I can try and see if I can find out from the, you know, the lady who does these. All right, so I've actually got that pin, so I'll hold it over here so you can sort of see. Let me go over here so you can see. See how I've pinned around? I've sewn the, the pinned the two lots. I've been sorting my sewing while watching. Oh, good. So now I'm going to get this baby now I think I'm going to have to actually change the position of my camera so again bear with me I'm thinking you're not going to be able to see and I'm going to have that it's quite getting quite big now I think I saw it in spotlight oh there you go in Wang oh fantastic there you go Margaret um, Rado Margaret seen it in Wang all right so I'm just going to get this camera here that's all right. We knew what you meant. All right. There we go. Now, for a time being, I won't be able to see comments just while I sew this together. And I just need to make sure that what you're seeing is viable for you. Um, hang on. I just need to move that iron out of the way before I set everything on fire. All right. Oh, my gosh. Michelle, I'll get it together. There we go. My pins are upside down. That didn't help. Okay. Yep. I think you can see. I'm trying to keep it out of the way. I might just move it back a fraction and zoom in. You'll see all my mess. Zoom in so you can see. All right. So I'm giving it a half inch seam because um, I, I think... Um, a uh, quarter inch is not enough um, so the foot's going down and I'm starting and stitch backwards um, make sure you don't run over your pins uh, with all this thickness then to add pins on top I think you would have an awful time so now you can blanket stitch this if you want to, you can do it by hand, whatever you like. It's up to you what you want to do. If you want to sit in front of the TV and just slowly put it together, um, sit with the grandies and, and make one together, you can do this all by hand. There's no need for you to use a sewing machine if you don't want to um, or you don't have one. Just because it's sewn for me by a machine doesn't mean it has to be. 
um, all, all parts of it can be done by hand and because it's a really nice wool felt it just sews really easily even by hand I have sewn the little little um, bits on by hand uh, are those grippy gloves yes Claire yes they're the grippy gloves that you've been hearing about <laughs> yes sorry I've um, I've got the camera facing the wrong way so I won't see your comments straight up Claire they are um, 42 but I've got them on um, normally 42 but I'm keeping them on 36 for the show um, if you would I think if you're uh, with the show um, craft alive they will give you a code at checkout and you when you go through the website you put in the code and uh, the code will uh, give you the discount also the same with um, I have um, my sewing machine needles, the, the, the super, uh, superior needles, the titanium ones, two packs for $20 instead of $12 a pack. So a bit of a saving there for you. Um, and again, there's a code when you go through um, Craft Alive with the uh, Great Australian Craft Show, you get a code through there and um, they will let you know and you can get that on the checkout okay if you already have items with me um, that you just want to add you want to add to it don't put delivery on put it as a pickup okay and that way I could just add it straight to your order and no delivery charge extra uh, will be charged extra so I'm just trying to maneuver it so that you can see what I'm doing I've got lots of pins in the corner um, I'm just going to take it nice and steady around. Um, didn't take that one out in time, but it's all right. It's only a pin. And a little bit more. Oops, guys. Get one out. So these, this corner is not too bad. It's not a really bad curve. It's quite a wide curve. So should be easier, easy either by hand or machine. Okay. But you can see how much easier the gloves make it for me, Claire. Um, and any of the girls will tell you who use them. They love them. Um, I am pretty much the main supplier in Australia at the moment. I'm waiting for all the shops to go mad with them. And then I'll um, be distributing. Just get my fingers in under there. Just make sure you don't have any creases underneath that you can't, you know, that you don't want to have to unpick. Alrighty, we're on, we're on the, the home run. Alright, so we're going to do this twice. One for one side and one for the other. So... When I put this up on YouTube, I'll probably split it into two videos. One is the decorating and one will be um, putting it together, this final part. Um, I might even do one, I'll make it into three so you've got the, the part where we put the little little clasps on. Alrighty, there we go. We're up to the last little run. Don't forget to stitch backwards so that it doesn't come undone. Trim off. Um, now that's one side, so you can see. I'll just zoom it back out again. There's one side of it. So we've got the gusset in the side. Okay, now we're going to do the other side. I am going to move this back a little and just show you what I did if I can. It's a bit hard. I can't see what I'm videoing. <clears throat> so I'm going to open that up. I'm just going to place that there for now. And just so I know where the center is. Then I'm going to grab this side. I'm just going to might even pin that over there. Just get out of my way. There we go. And 
because it's felt <laughs> it just folds nicely so just getting that up to that point we'll go over a little it's not too bad just pop a pin in there and grab this and slowly pin around you'll need 30,000 pins for the the arch the corner the bottom um, I could use the pins as supplied but they're over there and I'm over here so we'll get that around there yeah, so if you took the whole time that it took me to actually put the bag together, not the decorating, you're talking 10, 15 minutes. But, you know, you can decorate it one day if you wanted to and then um, put it together. You know, you could decorate three or four in one day easily. If you feel like doing that, I'm going to go over this side and do the other one. So bend that over there. I'll just move this pin again. Here. Want to make sure we keep all that stuff on the inside out of the way. So. I'm literally going to pop a pin there. Then I'm going to... In there and around here. Keep catching my fingers. Yep, that's way too tiny. Ouch, got me. <laughs> I have a bit of DNA on this by the time I've finished, I think. <laughs> I've been grabbed a couple of times, got bodies. All right, let's get to the end of it. We're almost there. I might actually move the next video up from uh, 3 o'clock to maybe 4 to give myself a bit of a break. So <clears throat> this one's going to come over here. I'll move the camera in two seconds. I just want to get it underneath and the needle in the down position. And I'm going to put it there so you can see what I'm doing. And zoom in. There we go. All right. So again couple of stitches forward and double back so you get that nice secure edge you can satin stitch if you like you can use a pattern stitch um, any anything anything is fine I mean you can decorate all these sides I, I, I love gray so to me this is fine <laughs> Um, not everyone's cup of tea, and that's okay, widows, but anyway. <laughs> Dotty just cringed. <laughs> she did. <laughs> uh, no, I do. I love grey. Um, so whether it's felt grey or fabric grey, I still like it. All right, so here we come up to the corner. This is where we do the base of it, and we're going to flip it up and keep the bottom stuff out from underneath so we don't make a mess there you go just gonna take that pin out so I can go around the corner and then I'll have to double check I didn't miss that underneath won't be able to tell until I get around a bit further I'll be very close that make 
make sure I got it. Oh, very, very close. But I didn't miss. <laughs> You can still see everything. Just move it around. Oh, lost him. Oh, there, there he is. Oops. up as you go if you need to and down And you'll see using the walking foot, if you use the walking foot with this, because it's so thick, it will just pull it along beautifully. You won't have to push and shove or anything except for the corners, of course. But, um, yeah, it, it'll just move nicely for you um, and you won't be straining your arms and fighting it all the time. Alrighty. So that basically has that done. Oh, I'm just going to check that base of that, see if I need to give it a second stitch nah it's all good all right so let's turn this around this way zoom out so you can see what i'm doing i've got mess everywhere all right so you can see all my mess um but i want you to see what i'm gonna do next so that's the bag okay there it is there that's the front so it's gonna sit like that how cool is that? I like that. It looks really nice, isn't it, Dotty? Beautiful. Yeah. Here's my handles. Alrighty. Okay. They're, they're straps. So you go. Oh, just double check I'm doing it the right way. Yeah. Okay. So that, like that, through those, that, the two. Um, and, oops, a daisy, wrong way. Go that way, then you can have that through there. Creating means mess, it's a given, absolutely. And I'm going to go one, two, three down, put that in the hole. I think I've done that right, and that in under there. And then the other side of it, I do the same, grab these two babies. And we went, which way did we go? Uh, that way. All right. So you've got one, two, three. So we put that in there. I mean, you can go whatever numbers up or down. It depends whether you want longer or shorter. You want, you know, whatever you like. You can change the handle altogether if you like. So that's one. This is how easy this bag is. That's the back. And then you go this one through these two. Like that through the buckle I make it look hard I know so that one through there that create thanks Wendy and that one goes through those two and they're reinforced with um, that copper or copper brass um, circle doodah <laughs> That's the technical version. All right, there we go. That's there. Goes through the third one. There we go. That there. And guess what? I made a bag. Hey, how cool is that? Look at that. There it is. All done. Dotty, would you like to demonstrate the, the bag? Oh, hang on. It has a clasp, so hold that. Um, the clasp goes like that 
There we go. Oh, look. Oh, hang on, hang on. Dottie's going to do the... Hang on, Dottie's going to do the... <laughs> you weirdo. <laughs> I like that. I really like that. Yes, it's over the shot. Oh, look. How cool is that? With that, <laughs> was the brass ring hard to put in, honey? They are already in there. So those, these um, it brass, it smells like leather. I mm. know. Oh, um, these brass rings are already put in. Okay, this comes with it. It's a whole kit. These fellas are in the kit, and I just hand, uh, machine sewed them on. That was nice and easy. Um, I mean, you can put a Suffolk puff or whatever you like, uh, anything you like there to cover that up. The, also that's included in here is they also put the zipper on, the zipper pouch. But if you want to put more pockets than that in there, you can. Two bag kits, Tanya. Yeah, absolutely. You know what? Those girls, um, Tanya Burke would like two of those bag kits, um, the Anna ones um and chris fitz would like two the anna large tote bag so sorry chris fitz would like one and tanya burke would like two um how nice is that i really like that so do you like this red stuff? And do you like do you like this? Do you like the red and black? It's awesome, isn't it? The dots written down your orders, ladies. Um, that wasn't really the reason why I wanted to, I wanted to do it because I wanted to show you the reason why I purchased these kits because I've had a couple of say why did you bother getting those? Because this is how fun Rado would like an Anna bag, please. Um, this is how fun they are and how easy and, you know, like I say, I probably make it look hard sometimes. <laughs> but how much are they, Michelle? Um, it's great. Yeah, Wendy, they're 57 for the kit and the red and black and the decorations here on the front don't come with it. Um, they are they're just from my stuff that I had. But um, you can put any applique you want, any colour you like. So that's them. That's how they are. Fantastic, hey? So I'm going to turn around. Let me turn this around. Hi, ladies. <laughs> so thank you for joining me. I know it was a long one. I'll see you at 4 o'clock. I'll readjust those um, uh, next demos on the page so you can see it. Um, Wendy, they're on the website too. If you'd like to have a look, there's a couple of different pictures of, uh, how other people have actually decorated them. So, um, and looking at this, I'm thinking I could add more stuff on there. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm thinking I can put some stuff on there, like that, a bit of this, a bit of that. I like it. Thanks girls. See you a bit later on. Bye.